So my first dementia care building, the first time I was ever a dementia care director, this is many moons ago, this is like 2014, um, we had to, or I had to, every quarter, I think it was, do this like staging tool. So I'd go through all of my residents and at any given time I had like 35 to 40 residents and I would put them on a stage sting tool of where they were with their dementia. It was like a one through seven scale. This was really hard and I kind of hated it because <laughs> it was super hard to put numbers to people. Cause I was like, okay, well, Mary Ellen, you know, has a urinary tract infection. So right now she's like a four, but normally she's like a two and a half or a three. Okay. So I would put like, I'm putting X's like between numbers. It was kind of a mess and I hated it. Now that said, um, this past week I was visiting with one of my clients buildings and I pretty much did something similar to what I had done many moons ago um, at my first building. And I did this staging tool because I really wanted to showcase to the program directors, the people running programming, where their residents were on a scale. Um, and this is not very scientific, okay? So I don't want you being like, Rachel, this this looks like a little crappy piece of paper. You know, this doesn't look very scientific. You're right, it is not, okay? This should be like a 30 minute exercise. If you have like 30 to 50 residents, this shouldn't take you super long. Um, your, you and your team know your residents really well. All you're gonna do is put people's names over here. You can see I folded the paper just for privacy's sake, okay? No dementia, mild cognitive impairment, early stages or mild dementia, moderate and advanced. Now, this is great if you have a very mixed population. For example, if you have a skilled nursing facility um, and you have people of all levels, you have some people who do not have dementia in the same wing, unit, what have you, with people who have fairly advanced dementia. This is a great tool for getting a sense of where your programming needs to be. If you need to be catering to people who have more advanced cognitive impairments, um, or maybe you have, you know, a situation where you, a lot of your residents are pretty early in stages. And so we can do a little bit more with them programmatically. So looking at this, right, again, not very scientific. You're just going to put your resident's name over here and you're going to go through and be like, you know, if you have a group of a couple people who know that resident, hey, what do you guys think? Mild cognitive, no dementia is pretty obvious, right? Mild cognitive impairment. Um, this is going to be not dementia yet. People who could potentially live on their own, they just some mild forgetfulness. They're probably aware of it, right? Early dementia. They may be in a sort of denial. You're noticing that they're having trouble with dates. They're having some forgetfulness possibly. Um, maybe some reminders of ADLs, right, need to be done. But for the most part, they're pretty independent, but you really wouldn't want them living alone. Moderate dementia, a lot of your residents, if you're in senior living, are probably going to fall either moderate or they're going to be like almost no dementia, right? If it's, this is a mixed population. Moderate are going to be people who have moderate dementia. That's a bad description. They are at a stage where they cannot be living alone for sure. Um, definitely need some reminders, some cueing for ADLs. Maybe they need help getting in and out of the shower, um, things like that. Uh, they may have some timeline confusion, right? M mixing up dates, times, who is what and where. Um, and they probably at this stage are not aware that they have dementia at all, or at least are not aware to the degree of their impairments, okay? An advanced dementia, this is someone who pretty much needs help with all their ADLs, um, and, you know, they need essentially cueing everything from place to place, um, and need generally a good amount of physical help. So that's a good layout, and again, not scientific, shouldn't take you that long, but just gives you a really good idea of where everybody is. At the end of this, count up how many moderates you have early, right? And then just literally just make a number. Like, okay, we've got, you know, six people on early stages. We've got 10 moderate. And it just gives you a good overall sense of where the acuity of your population is. So you can create better programming that meets their needs.
Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe.